This one looks pretty menacing. 4% win rate. Cheap defense. Thank you, Opera, for the bits also. Right over the letters. It's a round that's not very common, by the way. Round 57. $6,000 with uh, infinite selling. Infinite selling. Wait, it's one tower, right? No. It's not just one. It's multiple towers. Let me just see. Uh, can I buy this? Uh, I make money, right? N nice. I can, I can. So what if I make a bit of money to get out buff D-Breath? With, I guess, intense magic, right? And tell me why D-Breath out buff doesn't sell low. Or am I gonna be this first try? Uh, I'm gonna, need I'm gonna be the first try. Can somebody please explain why this is a 4% win rate? 4%, guys. 4%. Wow. I mean, I guess it's because a lot of people played it, but still. <laughs> Usually, the more people play it, it gets to the casual, so it, it ends up being... Uh, the win rate ends up being a little tanked, but <laughs> still 4%. Wow. <laughs> uh, well, let's do the... Uh, Let's try a round that is never, ever shown, ever. Alternate balloons rounds 36. I actually don't know what's on this round. Maybe camel pinks or something like that? Should be similar to the normal uh, 36, but there's only 4,700 to deal with this round. Oh, also, where, where, crap, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Press back too many times. Uh, Uh, it's Camo Yellows. Alright, I was wrong. I'm completely wrong, right? <laughs> camo Regrow Yellows and Black Loons. No. One, two. This and this. So this is extra Camo damage, and I'm gonna first try it. Yep. Again, yeah, I'm telling you, there's nothing fishy with the uh, expert tap right now. Very low win, win rate challenges somehow have a super low win rate. Like, what is this? That's why I believe it's botted. How are there only nine winners in this many attempts? It makes no sense for challenges that easy, because I've never seen it. I've never seen challenges this easy before with this low win rate. All concentrated on the top tab is the thing. Maybe that's why they didn't change the algorithm, but they're just a sudden influx of hard challenges or easy challenges that just got botted. I don't know. This is weird. I can't- I can't trust any win rate here. Dodo is the first one of every single challenge here. Sheesh. How many challenges do you play? Okay, what do I trust then? Holy... This one, maybe. Celestial Revolution? This is a one-tower no-selling challenge, which isn't usually my cup of tea. But... I kinda wanna see what one-tower solos. These rounds on Spillway. Am I ever going to make my own challenges again? I've actually thought about it. But I don't know what quirk I want to do. With, uh, like, the challenge. Because I wanted to, obviously, be unique. But I guess I haven't thought enough of it. But I will have you know, I did think about it, like, at least one point in time in the last month or so. And, like, maybe I should make a challenge again. Because those are fun. So, Maybe. Maybe if I, uh, have a epiphany about a very obscure mechanic. Perhaps I can pull something off. Alright. 
31000 The tower is $31,000. Let me just first try if Sovereign is affordable with 31k. Please? Yes, but there's no way that's going to be this UMG, right? It is decreased, uh, mole path, by the way. Decreased mole path by 80, 81%. Or is it slower? It's health. It's health. When's the last time I played Bounce 1? 2018. By the way, if this beats the ZMG, we win. Unless the F beefy is harder than the ZMG. But no way, right? No way. Hey, would you look at that? I think this works. It only makes sense for the uh, radioactive tier 5 to be uh, used on the uh, radioactive map. Is that right? I don't know what the Celestial Revolution means in the context of this, but it's looking good. Looking good for sure. Even if we don't have enough damage, the puddles will help beat FBFEs. Alright, can we first try? Average training challenge. <laughs> Alright. Looking good, yep. It's beating, it's popping a lot early because of the puddle. GG. <laughs> that was first try. How did I know Solver was gonna be was gonna do it? I just did. Can't go on such an easy challenge. Well, I'm not ending, so. Hugh uh, and Kaboom. Maybe this has a this is a hint. I do see a bomb with a lot of upgrades. It is round 58 with no selling or with selling. And look at the ability cooling rate. So I have to think it's assassin. Assassin is the only ability that I have enabled, so it's definitely that. But. Definitely that. The bomb definitely has the pew and kaboom, but this obviously doesn't beat Saram, so... Oh, it does. Right. Remember, this thing has splash damage. It has three splash damage, precisely. Sometimes the most recent winner could have beaten it first as well. I think that was probably the case here. Ah. Now my question, I would probably glue the towers first before actually getting this. Otherwise, uh, yeah, you don't clump it and then you don't get much damage, so okay. I have a what glue and ice enabled? 1, 2, 1, and 1, 1, 2. Alright. Let me see. So I do 0121 last uh, to get all the ceramics, okay? I also have a lot of money, so I should probably just get this quickly. Right, the assassin now one shots the insides, which is nice. Uh, I'll do another one. I'll re glue, come on. Wait, this seems really hard. There's only five Moabs. Five Moabs, guys. Five Moabs. This is a pretty simple challenge. All right, then. All right, know-it-alls. If you say so. Ah, oh, wait. A third tier top path is enabled, guys, on, on the bomb. And if you didn't know that, that that's how it knocks back. It knocks back backwards, so what I would do... Do I even need the glue? But watch this. Look, it clumps it up, but it does too much damage. Wait, it, it actually... It actually does a lot of damage. Hang on. W what if we just skip the stalling and beat it outright? I don't know. Because, like, it almost works. i probably glue soak, wouldn't I? Bruh. Yeah, it doesn't be black balloons. It's the only issue. Hmm. 
meh. Uh, so I don't know how to, how I do this properly. I also did one two zero glue, by the way. One two zero. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing here, guys. Hang on. Pretty simple challenge, you say, eh? Pretty simple challenge. Oh wait, I have a I have a three one two sniper. What? Are you kidding me? No, don't tell me this is the answer. This just one shots the uh, ceramic. What? Excuse me. In fact, it could just be one of them itself, fully. Uh, so I just wait as long as possible, really. Could you imagine this is a two percent win rate challenge? Again, I have lots of money, so I just buy things back. Yep, it takes one shot to beat fortified cerams. No way this works, guys. What? It's that easy. No way. Well, at least so far it looks good. Uh, here's number three. Number four. And we won. How is this a 2% win rate challenge? That really was easy. <laughs> and I overthought my first attempts. Yeah. <laughs> I guess sometimes win rates are just are deceiving. But we did it. <laughs> Buying or selling is too hard. I guess the micro is too hard for everybody. And that's the hint, right. Pew is the uh, sniper and Kaboom is the bomb. Duh. Alright. I think we can move on to... Uh, I think I scrolled a couple of these... He sub can't. Hmm. Wait, this is this is this is balloon wrangling. This guy copied the other guy's challenge. Where's the ninja we DMCA police when you need him? So look at this challenge, guys. Look at this challenge. Look at this challenge. 41.2. And look at this, guys. 41.1. Similar stats. Uh, although, it's actually a little easier. <laughs> I smell a copycat. Anyway. Alright, I see that page 2 has easier challenges. Let me just see. Yeah, let me set all on a challenge first. Too many uh, pick a tower. Four percenter. Also pick a tower. Or, uh, let's go back to page one actually. All right. Let's settle on this this guy's challenge, only because it's a 6%. So maybe it's difficult. Maybe. Maybe, just maybe. One in every 100 attempts succeed. It is around 63, though. Um, as many times as you like, just $28,000 to beat it. Maybe not last challenge, depending on how uh, fun it is or easy. Uh, tell me why this doesn't work. Right, it's, uh, yeah, upgrade restricted. You only have, uh, or at least they ban all the uh, high pierce towers, I see. Yep. Spam random stuff and win, yeah. Can somebody explain why this, is, this tower doesn't straight up work? The accelerator. Accelerator plus alky boy. Plus, I guess, uh, yeah, 202. I don't know. I want a crowd cannon, but that, I'll settle for this. Doesn't, uh, Accelerator easily win? Yeah, it does. All right. Well, we're about to first try a 6% win rate challenge. You know what? I'll do Ice Shards. Ice Shards is actually pretty good against EC3. So why not use it for a bit of help? 
Yep, we first strike, guys. What the hell? So, again, usually when challenges get played a lot, the win rates become very misleading. So this 6% is probably closer to, I don't know, a 30% win rate that has not been played a whole lot. Because I just first tried uh, this guy's challenge when um, 2,900 people didn't beat it. Didn't beat it whatsoever. Okay, I think we'll do one more after that, because that's obviously um, too easy. Too easy. Fable queued, but I will check that out another stream. Don't worry about it. Also, what's with everyone calling it this guy's challenge? I've seen so many of those on the uh, tab. Not another 63. Now, I'll skip this one. Ooh. Okay, I like this. Alright. May take a while, multiple solutions. This one is an infernal challenge, around 46. Fortified Serams, aka they have 400 HP. And here are the restrictions. You have 6.5k to work with. 2, 3, 4, all the way I see. Alright. Also very misleading. Tell me why this doesn't work. Um... Well, I see why it doesn't work, because it it's too fast. But what if I glue them? Tell me why that doesn't work. Like, 01... 012? Oh, I shouldn't have... Okay, I should have glued that one. That's fine. But, yeah, look. Two left. One left. First try, basically. <laughs> GG. Alright, that was also a very misleading. <laughs> Dodo with a warning. Let's try I Hate Sun Temple. 11% uh, win rate. But the thing is, you can't even get a Sun Temple on this, uh, like, with a 50k cash, and it's banned. So, what is the catch here? Does the title even have anything to do with uh, the the challenge? Or uh, when they mean Sun Temple, are they are talking about Sada? Probably not. Uh, I don't know if Dodo's back seeing there. I can't afford it, though. Hmm. So, it's two towers, by the way. Two towers, and I can sell the Cam Grow Wave. I was gonna say tech tier, but the ability cooldown weight is 500, so... This wouldn't come up in time, unfortunately. And it would, of course, create a rear farm, right? Absolutely. freaking lootly Yeah, it's a 500%. A 500% rear rate. Let's see... Um, um, Papa prices, yeah, that's rough. So, with Spirit of the Forest, it's so close to being afforded. But how do I make, well, 40 bucks? Let me think. 40 buckaroos. Well, I was thinking this, but it wouldn't make back money in time. Uh, oh, I can't afford Camo Village. Uh, so I'm gonna get $50 from each light here, but obviously... That wouldn't have worked. What do you mean by cell delay? I don't... Anyway, I, I've moved on for that challenge. I don't wanna... Think about it anymore. See? Wait. Sometimes it bugs out. Or it, it feels like... My hockey's stuck. Anyway.
yeah, watch the back seating, please. But because you already spoiled it, I will have to do it. It works. Well, if this is the answer, I would have preferred you spoil anyways, because it sucks. Or it's too easy. So, yeah. Thank you for spoiling it, actually. <laughs> Thank you for spoiling it. God, what is with these uninteresting challenges? Alright, so... Uh, if you didn't hear what I said earlier, I'm doing challenges because last time I played it, I think it was a couple weeks ago. Uh, I think I ran out of challenges to play, but I think a lot of challenges come in lately from the last couple weeks, so we will run into them or play them right now. I think one or two challenges got queued, but I'll check those out after I play easier challenges. Because I bet they are probably very hard. Anyways, uh, I played this one. You guys remember this map? Erosion. An easy solution for Brand 98. 14% uh, win rate. These are the stats. So the catch is that you have to beat Brand 98 with only $100,000 and 3 towers. No selling allowed. No selling. Moab Dom, do we try? Do we do a callback to our uh, Black Border Run and try Mob Dom? I think so. Every time was enabled. This does good against Ran 98. Alright, and then what other tower? Let me think. Doesn't XXXL Trap just work? Wait, I can't. I know, I can't afford it. I might be able to afford it. Cerams, yeah, for Cerams though. Cerams. Uh, let me just see real quick. Solver actually is decent. No, I, I like Solver, actually. I like Solver and this combined together. Lee is new with 25,000. You know what? Let's just go for the full support slowdown. I can't afford this, right? I trolled, didn't I? Maybe a little bit. We'll just see if this works first try. Wouldn't that be cool? A 14%er first try. Uh, unfortunately, I think I need to buff the mob dom. Like, with attack speed. Because this is way too sketch. Yeah, my mob dom doesn't shoot fast enough, but I think it could be used as part of a solution. Part of a solution. Let me see. Overclock. If I can stall for overclock? No. Sorry, let me just try this again. I'm not gonna lie, it probably doesn't work. Uh, but I got overclock. I got it off. I got it off. Now we just need Solver to a clutch up. Uh, maybe I'll do Sentry Guns too. Why not? Oh, right. 042 for the slow Cerams. Well, either way, it wouldn't work. I knew it was probably, uh... Memeing too hard with the Mob Dom. Okay, let's just try the other alternate solution then. And that is simply to slow things down as long as possible. I think this just works first try. Tell me, tell me why this doesn't work. You stun the balloons so that the trap has time to refill. And I'm not even gonna drop another tower down because. Yeah. Just the one shot shot solution, guys. It's as easy as that. Super glue does do damage, so it pops stuff, but. Oh, wait, that's bad. Um, I think that's it, though. Wait, no, this does wounds at the top. It's hiding. But there it is. Easy. First try if you don't count the meme solutions I attempted. Easy indeed. But that was a 14% win rate. Probably because people... Uh, or rather got to trending, so... They usually go low. It's 
Yeah, this is, this is the same guy, isn't it? It is the same guy. <laughs> Gen Alpha can't beat this. Well, I am not Gen Alpha, so it, I can probably beat it, right? God, Gen Alpha exists. I feel old. Anyways, 27k for round 79. And these are the towers. Uh, yeah. It's an all cam grow with extra regurate as well. Just, uh, yeah, some stats here if you want to look. Gen Alpha is still all kids, is it not? I don't know these exact definitions or years. The generation split apart. Alright. Here, enjoy some music. 2012 and up? Damn. That's crazy, being born in 2012. Yes, I'm being ageist. Anyways. Um... Camo. Friendly reminder, don't backseat too hard. Uh, that's all. Camo, camo, camo. There's one. Three hundred and thirty for three percent. Regrow rates. This probably doesn't work, but I just, um, uh, regrow or alpha buff to, uh, Robo Monkey. Robo Monkey's pretty good, right? I get strongest him too mid round, 420 mid round. Geraldo mid round. 79 gives you a lot of money. So, let's see. I would pickle, right? Yeah, pickle. Pickle buffs to the, uh, Robo good amount. What's the catch here? Why doesn't this work? Probably the Rigo's inside. That's interesting. Look at the removal cost. All 7777. Or at least for these ones here. Oh, did I use up all the space for uh, towers? Damn, that sucks. My only spot now is very tiny cracks, but I don't know what I buy. I think we just kind of hope that the Robo clears the way. Oh, that's close. Wait, can I do this? How does it fit? Wait, there we go, there we go. Got one. I got one shoot turret in. This should be in first and close. First and close, come on. Oh no, wait, that's bad. I think I created a rigor farm a little bit. But that's pretty close to like that's pretty close to working. Alright. I know. I know exactly what. Alright, let me buy level 3 Gibraltar though, so that I can buy this and then discount. I save a lot of money this way. What else would I do? Um. I don't know. I'll make a couple thousand this round. I feel like I can, I can second try this for sure. Probably just glue. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go for glue. We just really need to slow things down. So, uh, yep. Oh wait, no, there's no camo on it, but I guess it's just for slowing down the blimps. Do I want that though? Wait, let me see if I want that or not. No, actually, maybe I want damage. You know what? I want damage. Deep breath. Wait, no, there's no camo on this deep breath. God damn it. I should have looked before I bought it, but that's fine. Because we just want, like, um, balloon damage, right? 
Also, pickle. And that didn't work because I suck at this game. You can only do one one count of it. I suck at challenges. Oh wait, Grobalker did help. My bad, my bad. You're right. That's why I was screwing here for him. I actually need to do zero. So never mind. No discounts, you guys, no discounts. No discounts. Wait, this works then, hang on. I can fit everything. Everything fits perfectly. My first solution was already really close. Watch this. So if I just simply buy a deep breath in the middle of this round, then I think it works. We win. We win against the fortifieds. Unfortunately, I can't afford the deep breath, so that's unfortunate. I'll do guided magic. And uh, micro the wall fire. Alright. Surely this wall fire will help. Right? Control a bit of the rear farm. Yep. And, uh. Crud. Last one, last one, come on. Arcane Mastery, I forgot it existed. Nice, that was close. But I'd say basically. Basically, second try. Confirm not Gen Alpha. Alright, I'll stop playing this guy's challenges. Let's find some other ones. 20% is on the high, high side challenges, but I'll give it a shot anyways. Because after all, it is easy, as the title says. Beat 98-99. Unlogs with two towers. It's basically two tower chips, but with limited cash, it seems. Am I sending challenges to some chat? Uh, I mean, you guys can queue them. <laughs> so that that's how I accept it as, as always. But no one's queuing them. So, yeah. I mean, they will give that, if you heard their roadmap, they will give it at some point. Do I too? I did play those challenges though. Well, some of them. The updated ones. Uh, let me just say the restrictions are, I think, mostly camo, right? And abilities, like the uh, Round Zero and Tech Tearer. Meaning, okay, let me quickly see what D camo is. Well, there's Brittle. In Brittle Mid for DDTs. Uh. Wait, I see 11 lives. Can I just bomb blitz? Plus a Sealy. Uh. Wait, wait, wait. First off, let me start with uh, this for round, 90, round 98. I think this is this will work, right? And then I can I can get the this cooled out for 99, and then I just bomb blitz it. What's the worst that could happen? Bottom path mortar, yeah. Honestly, a lot of towers are viable. Which I guess isn't too surprising. Understandable challenge prize was fun. Yeah, but I, I just mean there were more... Uh, maybe expert level challenges back in the day. At least there would be more than six pages of expert. In the uh, last month tab. It's understandable because like there's more features in the game. Which means... It's more spread thinly. Um, it appears that Papa Not is a bad tower to choose for this challenge because uh, 
It doesn't do good damage for 98. All right, let's find a better one. All right. We must find a tower that solos and is also not too expensive. So how about Inferno Ring? Inferno Ring 502. I actually think 520 is better because the range is so bad that we probably died of Fortified Cerams, right? Yeah, I like Inferno Ring at all, but it is not it with this cross path at least. How about 520? One of the modifiers, nothing except the cooldown, ability cooldown. Uh, I'm pretty sure Eye Ring will still die to Cerams, or no? Okay, well, somehow we're still alive, actually. As long as you bring it out of fortified Moabs before it enters this range, then we're fine. Otherwise, nope. Now we're dead. Okay, so I noticed that the cooldown being faster means I can maybe do. Maybe I can do this instead. Jungle drums and extra range. This probably solos. Yup. Look at the difference P mentoring makes. It's crazy. Holy crap. Village OP. So I did this because I think I could still actually get this up for 99. Watch this. Let's see that if the cooldown comes up. Come on. Yep, it does come up. GG. Easy. Probably very many solutions. In fact, you might not even need bomb blitz for this part. But yeah. As the title says, easy. Easy. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the tr most liked. Because there's more pages. And just look at the... Uh, maybe semi-hard. Again, I'm looking at 20% or lower. If it's higher than 20, usually it's too easy. Usually it's too easy. Okay, fine. Is this too easy? Next. Ah, eh, you know, I forget. I'll just try it. Lead poisoning. Um. Let's try to beat this in five minutes or less. It's got a 15% winning rate, so not really that, that high. Also, you can't kill a challenge without pineapple, so. I don't know if that answers your question. You cannot just send your code in chat and I'll be like, okay, I'll play it. Honestly, I'm desperate, but if I'm de if I'm that desperate, I probably won't be doing challenges in general. Uh, that's all. Anyways. Uh, it's round 30. And what's the catch here, other than the rigor rate of the leads? Because all these towers, all these towers have lead popping. Well, most of them. Oh, but I think the, the, the thing is that they don't one-shot them. That's my... What I'm seeing right now, right? Yeah, they don't seem to do... A really high amount of damage. And it's also pick one tower, by the way. First off, let me just see for your... This is this regrow, right? Yeah, pretty instant regrow. Because they're faster, too. Don't forget. Uh, I know Flash Bomb got buffed to do three damage. But no way, right? Oh my god. It doesn't even shoot fast enough. Pathetic, pathetic. Charter ring shells. I can only go for... Uh, what do you call it? Wait. Am I the only one seeing that I missed that lead the like every single time? Crazy. Dagger, thanks for the five months. Um, I will say that opinion will... Uh, 
cause insane uproar to uh, the Triart expert community. I will pick... Uh... Yeah, I'll pick Churchill. Churchill. Well, at least most forgetful hero. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. What the heck? Uh, Razor Rotor? Wait. It kind of works. Well, if I micro it, it might be a micro challenge with a Razor Rotor. I guess we can... We gotta try it. Wait, can I afford Comanche? Nope. Well, I can afford Mob Shove. I don't think Mob Shove Missile is the answer, though. So back to Razor Rotor. So, watch this. Look, it almost works. I might have to leave it in one spot on the track for a better chance of it working. Come on. Like that, yeah, yeah, see? One shot, oh, nope. Oh, I see the problem. The, the, the darts are hitting before the razor applies. So then we have to shift the uh, balloon closer right before it hits, like this. Not like this. How did I get it to work last time? Like this. No, it didn't work. Why, why am I not getting it anymore? What the hell did I do? Oh, uh, let's move it away. No. What? Oh, oh, this spot. Wait. Uh, this? Oh, Rosers consistently damage. I thought, I guess it would apply immediately. Like, if it didn't attack, then it would instantly attack. But if that's not how it works, then never mind. Why don't we stream on YouTube? Because YouTube streaming stinks poo-poo. And also it affects, or at least I don't like it taking away views from, like, videos. It likely doesn't make a huge effect, but I just don't like that. That it potentially could. I would stream my second channel, though. <laughs> I've actually been thinking about that at times. Like, multi-stream to Twitch and second channel, if people really want to tune in on YouTube. That would be kind of interesting. Okay, I didn't try... Oh, uh... They nerfed the bomb, I think, so that frags wouldn't apply under. So this is definitely not it. Loki, it might have worked before. Well, I haven't tried Juggernaut yet. I think I've tried every single tower except Juggernaut. But why would Juggernaut work? Hmm. Also, way to keep more VODs? Well, I do record all everything. All content you see here, well, I, I, I would say all actually, no, no, not challenges, but they do, they will become, uh, they will get an extras at some point, for the most part, even if not the full stream, maybe a segment. Anyways, there's a reason why people multi-stream, so they get well, more viewers. Oh, I didn't try Sniper yet. I'm so dumb. Uh, which Sniper hits lead? This one, right? It's Supply Drop. Oh, is it that? that that's it? There's no micro? You, you just drop the time you win? Alright. Uh, okay. God damn it, I'm so dumb. GG. <laughs> the last tower I didn't try yet is obviously the easiest. God damn it. 